Right, hello everyone. So today I've got my comic haul for the month of May. I have about nine or ten packages. Um, first off, just start with two that I have that aren't in packages. And this was because I pre-ordered them. Um, so I pre-ordered them from WH Smiths in the UK and for whatever reason when I went to pick them up from the store, they just gave them to me like this without a packet. This is I don't know how you can see it on camera. This is Outcast Volume 8, uh, The Merged. So, recently on the channel I've put up my video on Robert Kirkman. Um, you'll probably know I'm a big fan of his. Um, I've read Invincible now, it's incredible, and I will review it, so stay tuned. Um, but this is the culmination of Outcast. A while ago I bought it from Amazon, and for whatever reason, I can't remember, it was gonna take a month to get delivered. So I was in between uh, trades like maybe between three and four or four and five and so for a month I didn't read it and then they all got delivered and I was like I'll just wait and then I'll read it all in one go so now this is finally it it's out it's finished this collects um issue 43 to 48 and yeah that's it apparently it's finished I didn't realize that it had finished with this um but I was doing my research and and yeah, it was just they were just like, oh yeah, four years the last issue. We've we've seen Paul Zeta, his art before. I love it. I think it's so good. His art, uh, yeah. And next up we have this is crossover volume one by Donny Cates and Jeff Shaw. So I remember um, I remember being in a comic shop in November last year in 2020 when issue one of this came out, and I didn't read it. I just kind of flicked through it. I think it's about pretty much every universe crossing over because it's by image so they have free reign to all their characters obviously um, and then with the Marvel and DC stuff I think it's kind of just like it, it's it is those characters but like not by name but it's I mean it's pretty obvious who they are probably but um yeah I don't know I'm I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this because this is just the only volume that's out at the moment it does look cool and Donny Cates obviously from Stuff like Thanos, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, Venom, Cosmic Ghost Rider, God Country. Uh, I've never really read any of his stuff, um, and so I'm quite excited to, to jump in with an image title and read crossover. I really like the cover as well. It's so cool. The, there's the kid reading the book, and then on the cover of that book is the kid reading the book, and then on the cover of that book is it's. I like that cover. So they're the two that I have out of the packages. Now it's time to go into all these packages. So I pretty much got all of these off Amazon this month, oh, in May. Okay, so this is just one book. Okay, so this is one book and it is The Fix, volume one. Um, really don't know anything about this. So I was watching a near mint condition video with, um, with uh, Uncanny Omar and he was talking about his sort of hidden gems for image and stuff like that and now I've finished Invincible and I've, I've read a lot of sort of image stuff. It's it's a universe and it's a publisher that I really like reading. Uh, everything I've read from it I've really enjoyed and I'm kind of now, I've realised I'm kind of now like shying away from Marvel and DC and stuff and kind of focusing more on image um, and other stuff like I've got some um, Action Lab Studios, uh, IDW, uh, Boom Studios, um, Titan. So this follows two characters that are, I think they're police, but they're crooked police. So, so I'm excited to read this. I, d I really like don't know anything about it other than Uncanny Omar said it was good and I want to read something that's not superior. I do love how a lot of the image stuff is just very story driven and so it'd be interesting to read sort of a crooked cop crime story because I haven't really done that before. Right then on to the next one we have about five left after this so here we go this is oh this is two books oh great <laughs> so I was just saying uh, the fix volume one I got the fix volume two as well <laughs> I think there's three volumes of this. I just, I didn't want to read volume one and then kind of be like, oh, I really need to read volume two now. I'm anticipating it's going to be a good series because Uncanny Omar suggested it, he said he likes it, and anything I've had that he suggested before, I've enjoyed. Um, and then also, speaking of Donny Cates, we have God Country that he is probably most well known for. Uh, a lot of people really know this. I had never heard of it before watching 
on Kenny Omar's video and Nick also just, he also talked about this. You can see that I watched that video and I was just like, all right, I'm gonna buy all these books now that you're talking about. So this sort of follows an elderly man who has really bad dementia and um, dementia is a horrible disease. Um, Alzheimer's and dementia, they're just they're terrible. And um, I've had experience with people like that have it and, and I know firsthand how bad it can be. So when I heard that this book had a character that suffered with dementia and um, picked, up a, picked up a sword and he's able to remember everything, but because he picks up the sword, all the other gods are coming to kill him, I think. I think that's the story. I couldn't be misremembering it. This is, I think, six issues, and it's just, like, it's just self-contained. That's all. That's it. That's God Country. Like, no part two. Um, so, yeah, I'd really like to read this, and I'm going to read this before I read uh, Crossover, just because I want to get a taste for, like, Donny Kate's kind of writing. So, that's it so far. Then I have from Waterstones. Okay, so this is this is packaged really nicely. This is volume six of Nailbiter that I could not find anywhere at all. I think I just in the end Googled it. I was like, just Google it, go to the shopping tab and Waterstones came up and they had it in stock. Well, they had it get sent to the shop near me. And I, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yep, yep, I'll get it. <laughs> like, I'll, just, I'll, I'll get it so I have it, so I can read it. But I have read the first four volumes of Nailbiter and oh my god, it's so good. The way it's written, the twists and turns, the cliffhangers it leaves you on after every book. It's a story that's just like Science of the Lambs. I mentioned in my last unboxing video where, where I talked about it. So you have this serial killer who's helping uh, police detective Finch and it, yeah, it's it's really good. I don't wanna go, I don't wanna spoil it for anyone, but if you haven't read it, please do yourself a favor and read it. I am saying all this, I haven't finished it myself, so I'm really hoping the ending's not bad. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it isn't. But so far, I'm really enjoying it. Okay, then we have two books. And this is Nailbiter Volume 5 and Volume 7. So like I said, I couldn't find Volume 6. I managed to get it from Waterstones, and then I got these two off Amazon. Uh, and I think there's seven or eight. I think there's eight. Yeah, I don't know if the story finishes with issue six here. And then it got a, not a, not a reboot, but sort of like a, I don't know, a continuation almost with volume seven. Um, but I just wanted to sort of have the whole story. All right, then we have, okay, cool. Oh, nice, I completely forgot about this. Um, so this is from Amazon again. This is The Boys, volume one. You can really butcher down the front. And if any of you follow my Instagram, you will know the absolute, the absolute diabolical, as Billy Butcher would say, situation that I went through. I looked on Amazon and volume three, the cover with Mother's Milk, was £7.70 or something like that. I put, I put something on my Instagram saying like, great deal, like if anyone wants this, it's a great deal. Um, and I bought it and I bought this as well that was like half price, it was £17 down from like 30 A couple days go by, didn't think anything more and checked Amazon and it just said it was damaged in the post and I was like, okay, maybe they fucked up and like it wasn't meant to be £7 and they said it was damaged. But no, my friend who also collects them, he got it for £7, his got delivered. Mine doesn't come, his comes and I'm just like, I'm not annoyed, but I'm like, come on, I don't want to pay 17 quid for a, a book where I could pay some pound for it. Okay, right, that's enough rambling for now. Um, last two packages we have. I'm pretty sure you know, you, you'll know what these are. This is Nailbiter Returns Volume 8. There we go. With a. I thought that was a pug on the front cover, but it's not. It looks like it's maybe a dead body with vines growing out of space. It looks like a pug. Got the series now of this, and I just want to read it all. So I'm going to read all of Outcast, and I'm going to read all of Nailbiter very soon. Um, now I finished Invincible, and then I think the next big kind of series I want to read is The Boys. Right, then we go. Last package. This is. Yep. Remember what this is? So this is the Fix Volume Three. There we go. So yeah, I like I say, I don't know what the fix is other than crooked cops and there's a beagle on the front cover i don't know how i can see that volume one two and three there we go. 
I'm really hoping I like this and I'm also really hoping nothing happens to the beetle because I love dogs and I don't want to have bought a comic from Omar that he suggested and then to have the beagle anything happen to the beagle I don't I don't want it so uh, so yeah this video has been all over the place to be honest with you um, all over the place and if you enjoyed it for whatever reason if you're still watching if anyone's still watching and you enjoyed my comic haul um, I didn't realize at the time but now unboxing it I, I've only got image books and then this from dynamite the boys um, I think maybe um, with Mad Dog Comics doing his image uh, month, maybe I subconsciously was like, oh, Image is the is the publisher for this month for me. I don't know. And so that's the video. That's that's it. That's done. We're done. I post hauls every month. Uh, so this was my May haul. Um, quickly just go back through it again just so you, you're all aware of, of it. So we have The Fix, volumes 1 to 3. We have God Country and Crossover by Donny Cates and Jeff Shaw. We have Outcast, volume 8, The Merge. That is what I'm most excited for, for sure. Well, maybe other than Nail Bear. No, no, uh, then we have The Boys Volume 1. I'm really excited to read this. I, I, with Invincible being as sort of like bloody as it gets and, and everything like that. And also Garth Ennis' writing from Preacher, which I haven't read any more Garth Ennis since then, other than the Welcome Back Frank. Like, I haven't read any more Garth Ennis. And this is, you know, his kind of, other than Preacher, his big thing. So, yeah, why am, why am I read it now? So then we have Nailbiter volumes 5, 6, 7, 8. <sighs> there you go. If anyone started dancing at home, then uh, shame on you. Uh, I am honest to God. I'm going to edit this back and just go, what the fuck was I talking? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. I do that with most videos. I edit it back and like, okay, sure. And just unbox the books and outro the video yeah so that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching i will see you all later if anyone's still watching after that thank you so much and if you enjoyed this video please leave a like down below and consider subscribing so you don't miss another video i upload comic hauls i upload comic reviews we're currently going through preacher and invincibles next i will see you all later see you later bye